Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to Beer Review 2000. Holy shit, we made it to 2000 with a mystery beer. You probably saw this tease a while back uh, on Instagram where I got some beer mail. So, 2000 beer reviews, three years ago, I hit 1000 and back in 2013 and said, here's to 1000 more, and hey, it happened. So we hit the 2,000 mark, which is fucking insane. 2,000 beer views on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of beer, but awesome good times as well. So before we get into all this, I just want to thank everyone who's been subscribed over the years. I mean, we're almost getting close to 7,000 subscribers now. I know it's nothing in YouTube standards, but I think it's fucking awesome still uh, to have all of you guys watching and enjoying good, with, good beer with me. And, uh, you know, just chatting. The whole community of BeerTube is freaking awesome. It's, it's great. So... Thanks to all you guys for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, and all the jazz. Thanks to all the people who've sent me beer. Thanks to all the companies who've been kind enough to send me beer to review. So, you guys simply rule. Uh, am I going to stop after beer review 2K? I don't think so. <laughs> Still got a lot of other stuff planned. We need to do more on the road stuff and shit too. So, says Mystery Beer, are you ready for the reveal? I can tell you that this is probably going to be sick, but the mystery beer for Beer Review 2000 is... Dun 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 dun! Bourbon County Rare, motherfuckers! <laughs> Holy shit! So, I gotta give a freaking huge thanks to Clint in Florida and my sister. So, we got this. I had one bottle of Blah Blah Lift, the 13 vintage, which was according to a lot of people, the bad batch. Uh, I had that left, and my sister was going to Tampa, uh, Flo or not just Tampa, just Florida, Orlando, traveling around with her boyfriend and his family. And I asked her, hey, maybe you could bring home some beer. I got in talk with Clint. We agreed on doing a trade, and um, yeah, he said, you want Bourbon County Rare? And I was like, Fuck yeah. So, as you know, one of my favorite styles, if, if not my favorite style, is Barrel Age Imperial Stout. And the best Barrel Age Imperial Stout I've had is Bourbon County Rare OG. The one I reviewed uh, back in probably 2012 with the Jakob Loder Malt, which was freaking insane. So, I hope this is going to be as good from what I've heard. It's just as good. So, yeah, as you see here, amazing label. I'm not, I'm not too keen on this flat thing. It looks kind of weird, but... This is 2015 rare in these new bottles. It's almost half a liter in here. It's like 4.99 centiliters or something like that. And the thing with this is that it's been aged for two years in 35 year old Heaven Hill barrels, which is insane because it's very rare to find barrels of bourbon that's over like 23, 25 plus years old. So uh, awesome they found that or uh, found those barrels. I think the previous one was Peppy Van Winkle, and a lot of purists says that the previous one was better because it was Peppy, but there is other good bourbon out there, not just Peppy. And I have a whiskey friend in the background who is being like this. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a 14.8% imperial stout, aged two years in 35-year-old Heaven Hill bourbon barrels. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy popped and get into beer review to fucking K. So we got the Bourbon County Rare poured. I must say, I'm like kind of nervous. This is almost as if you're going on your first date and your heart is thumping and whatnot. But this, and also I have, the room, fucking, the fucking room is smelling insane right now. I haven't had Bourbon County since like 2012 because it's been out of Europe. So the first time we try it again since 2012 or something like that is fucking the rare version. So we got it poured guys. Pitch black in color, They're really nice intense kind of dense oily look to it a small film of a tan head i mean of course that's going to fade after two years of barrel aging and 14.8 percent but let's let's fucking do this let's check out the fucking aroma <laughs> fuck holy shit oh my god <sighs> aroma does not disappoint holy shit that's complex it's like fudgy chocolate and molasses and almost like Hershey's chocolate syrup and tons of bourbon and there's maple and there's caramel and there's fudge and there's charred oak and there's vanilla and there's coconut, tobacco. <laughs> My friend just did the tobacco symbol. Oh yeah. Holy shit, this smells amazing. 
Now this is the first beer today. I think we're gonna be a little bit tipsy after this. Holy shit. It almost smells like it took maple syrup and poured it over a chocolate cake with maybe like vanilla or something like that. Vanilla ice cream almost. Holy shit. The, and honey sweetness, honey-esque sweetness. Caramel and toffee and raisins and figs and like the layers of fucking complexity is insane. Oh my God. I, I don't, and there's a little bit of alcohol, but it's a 14.8% beer. It's harmonized with the rest of the beer. Are you ready to do this? Let's fucking try Bourbon County Rare. Cheers and thanks so much to Clint and my sister for making this happen. <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking insane. Ooh, my heart is something like that right now. Holy fuck balls. Whew. Holy hell, motherfucker. And this is not even aged for you yet. Fuck. That's just insane. Like, it really does remind me of the OG batch. It, yeah, I, I mean, this might be a little more hot, but when I had the OG batch, it had also aged a little. This is fucking insane Imperial Stout. I don't think there's huge differences. I'm never going to be able to do a side by side, but I don't think there's a huge difference between OG Rare and this batch of Rare. Uh, this is just fucking insane. I'm just babbling and trying to reach for um, tasting notes right now because I'm just baffled. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's, let's get to some tasting notes. Holy crap, this is amazing. Wow, so tons of bourbon and vanilla sweetness and coconut. There's leather, there's tobacco smoke, rich, like chocolatey, syrupy flavors, almost chocolate syrup, molasses. Um, the mouthfeel is like soup. It's not like hugely chewy. It's like chewy, but like super oily. It's almost like you took molasses or something like that and poured some stout in it so it had like an oily, sticky, sugary mouthfeel. Like it leaves that sticky gloss on your lips. Holy fuck balls, this is amazing. Um, fudge, caramel, maple syrup. There's like some brown sugar notes to it as well. Uh, Whew, there's just so much going on. Like, the layers of complexity on this fucking beer is fucking insane. I, how the fuck do you do something like this? Ha not having had Bourbon County for so long and having the fucking rare version is fucking... I mean, I'm speechless almost. This is... Or, I ramble. Holy shit. Mm. So I'm just gonna gather my thoughts and get back to you guys. Uh, after I sit on this bad boy a little, because this is definitely a beer that de deserves to be sipped on. So, see you guys in a minute. So guys, we're back, or I'm back. My friend is off camera. Uh, this is insane in the membrane. The layers of complexity on this bad boy is fucking insane. Uh, we've sipped on it for about an hour or so, half an hour, something like that. Uh, I didn't even count because I was in fucking beer heaven, but man, hype, yeah, is the hype real? Fuck yeah, <laughs> this is insane beer, the, I mean, when we were sitting sipping on this motherfucker, it was uh, just the layers of complexity, you get tons of sweetness, but you also get the umami edge with that soy sauce savory thing, there's like so much dark chocolate, uh, almost like caramelized figs or raisins. Um, tobacco, pipe tobacco, uh, the coconut, the vanilla, the almond, the maple syrup, the oak, the bourbon, the, like, it's rare you find an imperial stout that is not one-sided and, and ha just has this insane amount of layers of complexity. It's fucking crazy. You guys probably already knew the grade when you saw this video, or when you saw me chasing it for the first time, it's an easy fucking hundreds, 100, 
what else would you give a beer like that? I know there's a lot of snobs out there. Oops, sorry, not trying to offend anyone, but a lot of people, oh, OG is better because it was made by AB InBev and it was original. Pappy is better. Nah, 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 nah. This is the fucking shit. Um, so, Hunnitz, uh, Bourbon County Rare, best Imperial Stout out there at all, in my mind. Again, I haven't had, you know, Assassin and SR71 and all these uber-hyped toppling beers that a lot of, a lot of people are talk, talking about. But if we just say bourbon barrel aged imperial stout without, like, coffee and chocolate and all these adjuncts, this is it. It doesn't get much better than this. If it does get much better than this, this with age would be, be better than this. The only thing that's just, like, a light note on it is that it's got a little bit of alcohol, but once your palate gets used to it, it's not a big problem. And... It's actually a harmonious alcohol, like you get some alcohol sweetness and whatnot. This is fucking killer beer, and I am so glad I got to try this uh, beer. I, I, I had not gotten my hopes up or anything to try this beer. I was sure I wasn't going to try it, and then Clint was a fucking awesome dude and said, Hey, I can give your sister a Bourbon County Rare to bring back. So, <laughs> you fucking rule, dude. Also, thanks a bunch to my sister for... Uh, bringing this beer with her all the way from the States. So, a Hunnitz for the Bourbon County Rare from 2015, aged for two years in 35-year-old Heaven Hill barrels. Trade for this motherfucker. I mean, I'm just smelling coconut in the room now. What? Or almost like a Mounds bar or Bounty bar or something like that. Holy shit. I just got a huge whiff of coconut for some reason. And I'm rambling because I'm getting a little bit drunk because it's a 14% beer. But it's fucking amazing. You need to get this. Trade for it. I think you can trade for this. It's not as hard to get as the OG batch. Uh, but yeah, thanks a bunch as well to you guys for sticking along for 2,000 fucking beer reviews. That's a lot of beer reviews. I know I'm cussing a lot. Again, it's because I'm getting tipsy. But thanks so much, guys. It means a lot. Uh, it's really cool to have this community on YouTube with all the other beer tubers and you guys watching as well. So... Awesome stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to the usual spiel now. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers in beer review number 2000 of a fucking crazy beer. And say cheers to hopefully 2000 more. Six more years on YouTube? Yeah, I think we can do that. <laughs> cheers, guys.